Stan, uh, just a week ago, um, your coach uh, told the press that you were highly unlikely to be here. So what's happened in a week? And then I guess the day after that, you're out on the tennis court on Instagram. Um, I don't know what he said and when, but uh, uh, for me, when, when I came back home after Toronto, it was clear that uh, uh, I had a 90% chance to play here. So that's for sure, because I knew what I had. It's, uh, uh, one week out of the tennis, it's not so that much for the tennis player. And uh, it was just uh, 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 way too much uh, to go to try to Rio, not to be sure, uh, be half, half ready there, uh, feeling some pain and take the risk to play there with, 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 with pain and maybe get a bigger pain. So I had to take some decision in my schedule and uh, uh, that's what I did. I know what uh, it means for me to, to play the Olympic, to play for the country. I know uh, uh, all the emotion I got from from uh, from winning the goal in Beijing, but also in London without winning. Uh, it was was something special, was something amazing. That's something I always dreamed about uh, being there as a as a young tennis player. So so yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that we have tennis at the Olympic. Uh, so it's been uh, okay, good year, I would say. Uh, I am I'm, I'm, I'm motivated for for the rest of the season. There is a lot of, of tennis to play. There is a lot of big tournaments. Uh, the end, the good result uh, Wimbledon, but uh, semi-final, final French Open was really good. Semi-final Toronto, winning, winning Dubai and and especially Geneva. So so far it's been, I think, a good year.